How's it going everyone? It's John again. Um, today I thought I would do a little bit of a different type of video. Um, ordinarily, I would be making a video on technical content, on configuring routers and switches and so on and so forth. But today I thought I would do one on making network diagrams. Uh, I don't know if I've actually said before, but me myself, I'm actually a student and right now I've been tasked with uh, my end of year project and in that project the scenario we've been given, it's a company called Dolphin Publishing have basically contracted you in to design a new Greenfield network and you need to submit a proposal as to what you plan to do and how you would do it. So anyway, I was designing this network and um, as I was going through the process, I thought what I was trying to do or attempting to do, um, it was difficult to explain just in terms of raw technical uh, language. And I thought it'd be quite good if I got some diagrams to help illustrate what I was attempting. Now here's a problem, is that I don't have any actual skills when it comes to stuff like Photoshop or any kind of graphics or anything like that. So trust me, the the irony is not lost on me, the fact that I'm actually doing a video trying to teach people on what to do. Um, the purpose of this though is because when I did a bit of research on how to actually make network diagrams, or how would a network architect, how would they make a, a diagram? It transpired that the common thing people use is something called, I think it's Microsoft that make it, called Visio. So I did a bit of research on Visio and it seems like it costs quite a bit of money. Maybe I'm wrong, but from what I could tell, it was going to cost quite a bit of money. And also I would have no idea how to use it. So pretty much... I tried to develop this kind of makeshift way how to get around um, doing my own type of network diagrams that were okay and passable. Now, if you actually have skills in this department, then skip this video. You will probably know far more than me. This is for somebody who's just like myself, who doesn't have a lot of money because they're in a student uh, situation or whatnot. Or maybe they're not very technically adept when it comes to uh, graphics and whatnot. Like I say, if you're good at this stuff, this video is not for you. Go and make one and make it better. But before we kick off, um, I'll show you what they kind of look like. Now, they're very minimalist. They're basically using the GNS3 icons, or rather the icons which have imported into GNS3, um, called the Affinity icon set. So I'll just quickly show you. So I've got my project here, and I was describing certain traffic flows. I've got links, the blue links for layer uh, 2 links and the red links for layer 3. Now, um, as you can see, as this goes on, you can tell I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with the actual software and my um, my diagrams start becoming a little bit better. So, I'm going to show you essentially how I made um, these diagrams. And it's very, very simple. I mean, they're not the most... Uh, they're not the most uh, jaw-dropping diagrams, they're very simple, but they add a little bit to if you've got a blog or you're doing a report or a project. Um, it's quite simple, like I said, I've got a VPN here, site to site, I've got um, MPLS down here, got PBR, pretty much, and, you know, <clears throat> it worked out pretty well, I felt, um, considering I had no experience as to what I was doing. Um, so what I'm going to do is, actually, do you know what, I've got the actual... Um, some of the images here. So these are the kind of diagrams I was making. Um, one there, there's one for DHCP snooping, got a wee rogue server here. Um, policy based routing with your voice traffic getting routed through the MPLS circuit, so on and so forth. Um, your VPN tunnel here. Um, this is me doing my NAT traversal. I've got a video on this if you're wondering what this is. This is using the, the Tor network to uh, for nap punching basically and this is me describing it so basically I'm going to show you quickly as to how I made these with absolutely no skills in graphics <laughs> um, so the first thing I did was I went on to um, well I already had these icons but if you don't know where they are I'll show you so the affinity icons github and it'll take you to this set whoever made these by the way thanks very much because they're actually really nice and the person who made them obviously put a bit of time into it and didn't charge anyone anything so big kudos to you so what you do is you come down here and you click you click on clone or download and i just downloaded the zip now once you do that 
once that downloads it will take a wee minute or so then you'll have this folder and in here you're going to have you want to click on the SVG now in the SVG folder you've got circle naked square that, that's going to basically denote the type of uh, icon you've, you're going to have you can have square ones I was using square for my switches circles for my routers uh, so on and so forth so that's the kind of format I was using so I used these icons and I used them with this free website called Droyo. Now, like I said, I don't know if that's the best way to do this, but it was free and I found it very simple for someone like myself who doesn't actually have experience doing this. So go to Droyo and then you click on, or draw IO rather, <laughs> and then go to create new diagram and a blank diagram will do. Now, full disclosure here, this one I'm making is gonna be quite quick and it's not going to be aligned or perfect or even particularly good. It's not even going to make sense. I'm just going to chuck in a bunch of icons just so you can see how it looks. So the actual logic of it won't make much sense, but you can get a rough visual as to how it'll look. So what I'll do is I'll grab a square, okay? And we'll say we'll grab a gray square and we'll have a switch. So go down to switch, square, switch, and pull that in. And we'll do a multi-layer as well. So we just drag and drop them and they're a little bit large so if you go to the corner and just pull it in 70 same again pull it in now rather than doing that multiple times just right click it and click duplicate and duplicate now like i say these are up oh, just delete that move this up here like i said these are not going to be perfectly aligned or anything like that i'm not going to spend an awful lot of time on it I'm just more so giving you an idea as to how it's how it can look. Um, so I'll move this over here, move you there, and move you there. Okay. So they're roughly, they're not very aligned, but they're they're not bad. And I'll duplicate this one as well. So we're just basically making a little simple switch network here. Right. So now we're going to create our links between these. Now, in my diagram, I had blue for layer two links and I had red for layer three. So I'll do the same kind of format just quickly. So just click here, pull this out. Now, you want to move this up here, okay? Now, if you just grab the end and once you hit the center, it's going to give you a little green uh, mark, so you'll know. See that there? That's right on the dot. Pull this up here. And that's right in the dot. Now you'll notice the line is a little bit thin. It doesn't look very good. So I just came over here and just up arrowed, thickened out to call it four. And I want it to be blue. So I clicked up here, blue. Simple as that. Let's repeat the process. Over here, grab that up there, hits the green, pull this down, hit the green, change it to blue. Same again here. Just do this quickly. Like I say, I'm kind of rushing through this because I don't want to bore you with me trying to pour over accuracies. <laughs> so let's pull this up here. And same again. And that's that. Okay. So oh, we'll click that again. Change that to blue. Now let's grab um, a link. Up here, we'll make this. So that's that up there. And we'll make that red. And you can even just duplicate that to be honest. Duplicate you. Okay. Like I say, that's not perfectly aligned yet, it's a bit high up, but never mind, you can get the point. And uh, next thing we'll do is possibly add in. I don't know what we do, we'll add in, we'll go to circles, we'll add in some routers, take a blue one this time, and we'll go down to router, uh, where are we, router, 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 that's us, pull you out, make it down to 70, 70, so it's, or 75 rather, and we'll duplicate that, pull this over here, you see that kind of aligns that there, so this be blue alignment, does help you out a little bit. Makes it kind of a little bit easier for you. And move this down a little bit. Okay, so let's um, 
we'll add pull that down to there and of course these are going to be layer 3 links so it's going to be red again same on this one down here so you can see there's no real, this is not like some kind of graphic designer thing whereby somebody who really knows what they're doing. This is, I have no idea how to do this, I just kind of learned it on the fly and it's it's really, really simple. Um, so what else will we put in? We'll put in perhaps, let's say we've got a, an evil eavesdropper. <laughs> um, somebody who's spying trying to hack the network. So we'll go down here, take a red one because he's a bad person <laughs> and we'll grab the skull one. Okay, so we've got a skull and we'll shrink you down to that size and maybe we'll add in an arrow like this to just denote that he's trying to spy in the network. Move that up here and let's colour that. Let's make it a darker red. So if we click these buttons here at the side, you see they actually change the colours. Fill that in with a darker red. Again, this is misaligned but I'm just going to rattle ahead. And what we can also do is perhaps let's grab a client. Uh, we'll make a blue client actually. And we'll take a square. Pull this one down here. Yeah, I'll do. And we'll duplicate you. And if we use, you use, what I'll notice, um, what I'll rather say actually, you'll notice, um, see once you move these things, it kind of snaps into position. It's like, see that, it just goes between these things. If you want to move it with uh, greater accuracy or with more specificity, if you just click it and use your actual arrows on the keyboard, you can just move it along very small amounts. You see that? If you really want to, if you really want to spend time aligning this correctly, you can just do this. But like I say, I'm not going to bother too much about that just now. Um, and maybe let's get a, a wireless one perhaps. So we'll do a red, we'll have a, make that up there. Pull that up here. And, okay, so if you actually notice, when you hover over this, you see these arrows just kind of pointing out from the sides. And these be X's, you can actually pull these arrows out. See that's that be green thing? If you just click and move up, you get an arrow coming out of that. Same again here, click and arrow. And I was doing this to kind of denote my traffic flows. And if you just click on the actual thing, you can change the colour again, change that to red, make this... Oh, click that, change that one to... Kind of a darker blue, same again here, darker blue, and let's say we want to add in, I don't know, some kind of traffic flow here, so we'll say that is going there, and we'll make that green, because it's the actual way the traffic is going, or the way it could flow, same up here, you can make that, and if you just move that in a little bit. Um, and this one here will change the direction this can be we'll make that red again and just move that a little bit click here okay so Let's perhaps add in a wee server at the side. We'll go down here, we'll take a grey one, we'll do... Um, server, square server. Move this up here. Make that A a little bit bigger. 
and whatever. And just make that go down. Make that green as well. And if you want to add in some text, you just double click and just call it a server. And um, you can change the size. Maybe make it bold and then just drag it and move it under here. And then just use your arrows to align it a bit better and move it up. So on and so forth. And you can just double click this and say wireless. Oh, wireless. <laughs> wireless access point. There we go. And we're going to click on that. Make that. We'll bold that. Maybe just move that there. I'll pull it in. And then use your arrows. And I'll just make what else have we got? Um, and you've got your cloud as well, maybe. And you can make that out there. Unless you wanted to move all this a little bit, just drag it and pull it down a little bit, so it's down a bit. And same again. Make that green. Move that over a little bit, pull it down. Okay, so this is not the best diagram. Obviously, it's been quite late. it's been quite uh, hurried and just shoved together it doesn't make much sense either so ignore that the point is it's just it's pretty much to show you how to actually use this now if you take the grid off that clears that now the way I did this was you could probably actually do this better by saving it but the way I did it was just by doing a control um, and a print screen and I'll just go over to paint <laughs> and just control V it and then I'll just simply crop it just grab that. And then home crop. And then just save it as a John Pick 1. So then I would come over to um, your document and Word and say you were typing. I don't know, we'll just type in some text and um, this is just a test to oh, see how this looks this is a diagram of how the network topology will be and then I just came over here and pushed insert pictures and then John pick one and pulled it in there. And you could move it a little bit. And then perhaps you could just do like change that and maybe make it italic. And then just type in like figure 1.1 name um, network topology. And come down here. Back to your 14 again, left center, and blah, de, blah, and continue. So that was a quick way to make um, a little network diagram, and I think it's quite useful for doing reports, projects, or blogs, if you don't know how to actually do it. If, you don't, if you've got better software, if you're good with Visio, if you're a network architect and you can do this stuff easily, then just ignore this video, obviously, you can do it much better than me. But if you're a, a poor student, and you've got limited abilities to make diagrams and I think this is quite a simple way 
to do so and it looks okay it looks quite minimalist and simple so yep i think that'll be the end of the video um, i hope to get another one out soon an actual technical one this is a bit of a random one but i thought i'd put it in anyway and yep so that's the end of the video and i'll see you guys soon thanks very much bye